Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to automatically sort drop-down lists when new source data is added. So this was a question from uh, Suleiman, Wim, and Colin on my video on how to automatically add items to drop-down lists. And it was a great question, and at the time I said we could use a macro to do that, but there's actually at least four different ways to do this in Excel. There's more than that, but I'm going to explain four in this video. The first will be using a VBA macro. We can also use my free list search add-in for this. Uh, we can use Power Query, and then we can use the new dynamic arrays and the sort and unique functions within those. And I've ordered this list based on availability and what version of Excel you might be using, and also the process you're going through to update the source data, whether you're doing that manually by uh, typing names in here, or you want to fully automate that process based on some other data set. So we'll first look at how to sort our data with a macro. And I will put a link in the description below this video where you can download this file. So we're going to go to the Developer tab on the ribbon here and click the Visual Basic button, Keyboard Shortcut Alt F11. And here within the VB Editor, we have this file that we're currently working with here, the Automatically Sort Data file. And I've added a macro here. This macro is actually in the Sheet 1 code module, the Products Sheet. We jump back over to Excel. That's the sheet here that our source data for the dropdown list is stored in. So we have the drop downs over here on the inventory sheet in column A here. Here's the data validation list. And then the source of that is over here on the product sheet. So I'll jump back to the VB editor. So again, double click that. And then within this code module here, I've added a worksheet change event that will run a macro to automatically sort that range anytime a change is made to the worksheet. And this is only going to run when a change is made to the products worksheet because that is the uh, code module, the sheet module here that the code is in. And I have a whole nother video that goes into events, VBA events in more detail. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video as well so you can check that out. I won't go into all the steps to write this macro in this video because we have another video for that. But really to implement this, you can just copy all of this code into your workbook. Again, that'll be in the code module or the sheet module where your source data is at. And then you can just change the sheet name here and you can also change the reference to the table name and the column uh, that that data is in. And that just sets our variable for the range reference. And then we use that range reference twice down here to uh, run the sort method on the range and sort it in ascending order. So once we have that set up, we'll jump back over to Excel. And if I was to add a new item down here to the bottom of the table or below the table, I'll just type uh, baseball in here. And once I hit enter, we could see that the item is added to the table. And then the table is also sorted. And we have baseball right up here. And of course, if we go back over to the inventory sheet and check our dropdown, we will also see baseball in the second position. And we're still going to use that same technique that I explained in the last video on how to automatically add items to dropdown lists. That technique uses a named range that references uh, the column here on the products table. And then we, if we go back over here, we go to our data tab, data validation here. We're just referencing that named range here that uh, references the entire table column as the source of our data validation list. And then anytime new items are added, they will automatically be added to the data validation list. So check out that previous video if you want a step-by-step -step on how to set that up. But that technique will remain the same throughout this video. We're just looking at different ways to automatically sort this uh, source data range. And I should also mention that this solution will work for anyone on either Windows or Mac using a desktop version of Excel. And of course, you will have to be able to use VBA macros, but this solution should be available to just about everyone. So the next solution uses my free list search add-in. And I'm just going to uh, sort this in descending order here. And we'll jump over to the inventory sheet. And we can see now that our dropdown uh, list is obviously not in alphabetical order anymore. It's descending order instead of ascending. And so in order to see this in ascending order, we can use the list search add-in. This is a free add-in. And once you download and install it, you will see it here on the Excel Campus tab of the ribbon. Here's the list search add-in. And when I click this list search button here, this is going to open a window uh, below the cell that we have selected that contains data validation list. 
And right here in this drop down list, we will also see that same list. Now we can use List Search to search that list. That's the benefit of List Search, the major benefit there. If I tar start typing a name there, it will automatically start filtering down that list. But if we uh, click this options menu right here, we can also sort the list. So there's an option for ascending order here. When we click that, we'll see the list in ascending order. And if we click descending, we can also see it in descending order. If we click off of that, it's a toggle, and then we would just see it in the order that it's currently in. So this is not actually sorting the list in the dropdown itself, but it does allow you to view the list in alphabetical order. So this might be a good solution for you because it works on any file that you have open once you install ListSearch on your computer. So you won't have to go through the process of setting up a macro or some of the other solutions we're going to look at. You can always view any dropdown list in any file uh, in alphabetical order using the add-in. Now, one potential drawback here is this is only going to work on your computer since you're installing the add-in on your computer. However, you can uh, import the list search add-in into a specific Excel file if you're sending that file out to others, and then they can use list search as well. So I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can download ListSearch and check it out. There's a few other buttons here with additional features. And really the ultimate goal is to just make it easy to search uh, through long data validation lists, find the item you're looking for, and very quickly insert that into the cell. And I should mention that ListSearch is available for the Windows versions of Excel, Excel 2007 or later. If you're enjoying this video, please click that big red subscribe button below the video to subscribe to our channel and also click the notification bell icon there to get notified when new videos are published. So next we'll take a look at how to automatically sort the list with Power Query. So this is going to be a great solution if you're bringing data into Excel with Power Query and this is part of a larger process and maybe you just want a drop down list uh, based on a column within your data set. So here's an example of a data set here where we have some sales transactions. We again have this product name column and we might want to find all the unique values from this product name column and then create that drop down list based on that and also sort it at the same time. So to do this, I'm first going to add this table to Power Query. So I go to the Data tab on the ribbon and then choose From, Table, or Range. Now at this point here, you might be bringing data in from another source, maybe an external database, website, something like that. My data is just in an Excel table, which you can use as well. Uh, but at this point here, your data could be somewhere else. The whole point is that you're going to be bringing it in to Power Query. And then all we're going to do here is just create that list of unique values for the product name column. So the first step I'm going to take is I'll just right click the product name column, choose remove other columns. So this is the only column that's left. Now I want to just get us a list of unique values. So we'll remove duplicates. And then finally, we want to sort this. So just click the drop down here. We'll go ahead and sort ascending. And so now we have our list of uniques uh, sorted in alphabetical order. And then we'll go ahead and hit close and load at this point. That's going to insert a new sheet in the workbook here with my output table. And from this point, the process is exactly the same. We're just going to set up a named range. So I'll just quickly define that here. We'll call it range uh, product name. And then uh, that will be the table reference error, that entire column. So we want to change that there to just uh, the column body there. Uh, so here we have it here, the column name. And then we'll go ahead and hit OK. And then we can go over to our inventory sheet here. I'll just put this one down here. And again, data tab on the ribbon. We'll go here to our uh, data validation list. And then that, we're going to hit F3 on the keyboard. We'll see a list of our named ranges. Go ahead and hit OK. Now we'll add our named range reference there. Click OK. And now we have a drop down list again based on that table. And again, I have another video on that that explains that step by step. So I went through it pretty quick there. But if you're not familiar with that process yet, go check out that video. So this solution is going to be good when you're getting new data either added to your database or added to this sheet here. So I have another sheet with new data and I'll just go ahead and copy this. Of course, this might not be realistic, but I'll go ahead and copy this and then go to my data tab here, down to the, going down to the very bottom. 
going to paste that new data right here. And this new data has a new product called baseball. So now when we go back over to our query or our output table, we can uh, right click refresh this query right here and we'll see we get the new uh, item or the new product baseball added right here. So our query just runs again, adds that new item, does the sort, removes the duplicates, does all that uh, process again. And of course, when we go back over to our inventory sheet, we will now see our new item right here within the dropdown as well. So with this process, you're not necessarily going to be adding items manually to your source data range. This would be the output of this table. And technically, you could go add items to this table here if you're not going to refresh your query. This is best if you just want a list of uniques from a larger data set. In this case here, you could just set up this query once, and then anytime you get new data, whether you have a new product name or some new item or not, we'll just refresh that query, and all of that information will be updated and stay up to date based on your source data. And Power Query is available for Excel 2010 and later for Windows. I have an article that explains how to get and install Power Query if you're on an older version of Excel. On the latest versions of Excel, it is included on the Data tab of the ribbon. So next we'll look at how to use the brand new dynamic array functions to sort the list automatically. So I've definitely saved the best for last here. Uh, we're on our sheet here again with the products table. And right here in this cell, just a few cells to the right of the table, we don't want to expand the table. So we're going to write a formula right here in cell C2. I'm going to type equals, and then we'll just type the sort function. So this is a brand new function, currently only available on the Insider's Fast Build for Office 365 subscribers. However, that will change in the future and it'll become more widely available. I have another video that explains these new functions in more detail. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. So we're going to tab into the sort function here. So you can see it has a few arguments, but the one we really need is the array or the range here. So I'm just going to select and reference that, all the cells here within the table in the products column right here. That's all we need. That's the only required function. The rest are optional close the parentheses and hit enter. And as you can see, I get the results spilled here into this range. This is called a spill range and includes all the results of that sorted range. So from here, we can create our data validation list. I'll just put it right here in cell E2. You could also do this on another sheet, data tab on the ribbon, and then we're going to uh, open the data validation window. We'll choose list. And here within our source, we're first going to select the first cell in this spill range, so cell C2. And then right after that, we're just going to type the pound or hashtag symbol there. So this is the reference that will reference the entire spill range. When we have that pound or hashtag at the end of it here, this is a spill range reference. We'll go ahead and just uh, say OK there, hit OK here. And now we have our drop down list. And it again includes all those items there from that spill range. And the nice part about this is we can manually add items to our list here. So let's just put a golf ball here. Oops, there we go. Hit enter. That will extend our table. And since our table is referenced here in this cell with the sort function, that's automatically going to include our new item there and sort it. So we have the new item right here. And if we go over to our dropdown, we'll also see uh, the new item right there everything sorted uh, just based on that function. So pretty cool stuff here with these new features, these new dynamic array functions. And if you're wondering how you could do that on a larger set of data that might contain duplicates, oops, let's go over to our data sheet here. We can also use the unique function here. So I'll just put that right here again uh, to the right of the table outside of it so it doesn't extend. We'll type equals. And then we also have this unique function tab into that. This is a new function. And then again, our array will be the range, all of the cells in the product name column, which are referenced right here. We can just close the parentheses there. That's the only required argument and hit enter. We'll get a list of our unique values. And then we can also modify this formula to combine it with the sort function. So I'm going to use the sort function here and wrap that in the sort function, close the parentheses there. That's all we need, hit enter. And now we have a sorted list of unique values. And again, every time this table updates or we get new data, this will automatically update as well. And then we can create a data validation list based on our spill range.
So there's four different techniques for automatically sorting our data validation list. My favorite is definitely the new dynamic arrays. The unfortunate part is this is not available to everyone yet. You will have to be on Office 365 and currently on the Insider's Fast Build only. Again, I have another video that explains that in more detail, and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. But hopefully those tips and techniques help you. Of course, there's other ways to go about this. So if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.